Hey, welcome back. Um, my name's Becky, and if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm with the Traveling Emporium. Um, since my last video I made, I was in a store, a local store called Fragments, and uh, I did find a few things in there, but, um, you know, not, not a lot of stuff, but I, I did find a few cute pieces, uh, some vintage items, one in particular that I totally love. Um, you'll have to excuse my voice. I've had a little bit of sinus and uh, Tennessee weather's finally getting to me. Um, it's been hot down here, but for about the last three days, it's been really, really nice, especially in the mornings. It's been about 57 degrees, 60 degrees, and uh, it's, it's a refreshing change from the 94 degree heat. So anyway, um, like I said, the store that I went to uh, was called Fragments. It's an antique mall, vintage mall, and they have a bunch of different um, areas set up or booths set up that different people own. And I always have one in particular that I really like. And um, while I was there, I found um, an old tin, actually three old tins. And they're really cute. I'm gonna show you. They're ladybugs. They have the little uh, handle for grabbing, and they are tin, so you can hear it. But I thought, man, these are just really cool. They're in really good shape, and um, there's three different sizes. I feel like there should have been four, but um, I think only three came with this, but I feel like there should have been a fourth one in between, and I'll show you. This is the smallest the lid does come off see and like i said they're in really good shape there's a little wire in the bottom of each of them but that just happens with use and time especially with 10 items um that's the smallest like i said i have the next size up which is just a little bit bigger the small one fits down inside of here which makes it really easy for shipping this one slides right off as you can see there's very little wear and there's lots of ladybugs and I love ladybugs you see ladybugs here and not to be mistaken for the orange Asian beetles that resemble ladybugs an actual ladybug and that's the next size and then this one is the really big one and I love it I've, I've contemplated keeping them myself but right now I'm really into roosters and rooster decor, and especially vintage roosters. My significant other and I, we raise chickens. And um, so, you know, I'm around chickens a lot. So I, I've grown to love all the chicken things that I find. So that's what I usually hoard is my chicken stuff. So, but ladybugs, I, I will probably let this go. I'll probably have it listed on Etsy. Um, Etsy tends to do better with this kind of thing. Um, eBay, it, it probably do really well on eBay as well, but I think this is probably gonna go to Etsy. And I'm probably gonna ask for all three, probably 25 to 30, um, maybe maybe a little bit higher, but it'll be free. That's plus. Um, the next thing that I found at Fragments was this little, bunny egg and before you know it before you blink Easter will be here and like I said it's Fitz and Floyd um, it's a plain white little bunny except with a little bit of color on the side there I think you can see and on the bottom I don't know if you can see it it does say Fitz and Floyd F and F hand painted but like I said there's not a lot of painting but when I did find this in the store, it had a treat inside. It had a little bitty woven basket, which I think is super cool. And I'm probably gonna list this on Etsy as well. I just think that's really cute. And so I left it in the egg. And I will probably list this one as well on, I want you to get a good look at that. He's eating his carrot. Got a little pink coloring in the ears and the eyes 
and the carrot's green. But there's the whole egg and there's the inside. It's in really good shape. And I'm probably gonna list that probably 20 to 25 with free shipping. It's Fitz and Floyd, I love Fitz and Floyd, but I don't do the bunny collection either, but I know a lot of people that do. And I do have a lot of bunnies at this time, but some of it I, I sell at my flea market, which is here in Tennessee. And I usually sell that at on Sundays, um, up on the mountain, as they call it. I also have a really pretty, um, it's actually Bone China English Castle, made in Stratfordshire, England. And this is a beautiful, cup and saucer it's got it's this is all gold I don't know if you can see look at the leaf print and the leaf work on it it's really pretty it is clearly marked on the bottom let me turn that around where you can see it I don't know if you can see that exactly. there you go there you go bone china made in England and the saucer is identical with the same gilding and it is also marked so you definitely know that these belong together I don't know if it'll focus in there it's got too much glare on it there you go I'll probably ask 10 to 15 dollars with free shipping um, I only paid for the bunny I only paid a dollar fifty for this little cup and saucer I believe I paid two dollars uh, for the tin set I only paid four fifty which I thought was an excellent deal um, I also found it fragments I found this planter and it's white and it looks like it's got gold or a cross between a gold and a silver tone painting on it. If you can see that. There we go. The beautiful gilding work and there's the little bird. And this looks like it's a bunch of grapes to me is what it looks like. Here's the front. The gold and the bird looks like he's just peacefully sitting there sleeping. I really like this. I you know, I debated about this one as well because I really like this one and I have a, a curio cabinet that would be, this would fit really nicely in. But this is also made in Japan. I believe it says Tilson. It's got the original tag on it and it actually got a mark number on it. Um, 52 out of 879. And I'm probably going to list this on my Etsy account as well. Probably $20 to $25, probably with free shipping. But I think this is a beautiful piece. It's got the, the pedestal feet, as you can see. And then I got one more thing, and I totally loved it. And I only paid three bucks for it. I got it home. And my dog rushed past me coming into the house. Boom. It was, <laughs> I mean, it's still beautiful. It's a, a really unique lusterware biscuit jar with the handle, which I was going to sell, but it crashed. And I'll show you, it broke out a big chunk in the back. I did repair it. I don't know if you can see the crack right here that runs around. I've still got to get some of the adhesive off of it that I sealed it with. But you can see the adhesive. But this was a beautiful jar. I mean, look at the lid. I just think this is gorgeous. And I'm really sad that I can't resell it, but it's beautiful. And I fixed it, so I'm probably gonna keep it, you know, myself. May try to sell it at the flea market with the disclosure about the chip and the break. So maybe somebody won't feel as bad about it. Maybe I'll give them a deal. I do love the little handle. It's 
got some really cute detail on it. And like I said, I won't be reselling it on eBay or Etsy. Uh, if I did, I'd have to disclose this. And you know, it, that's a big, that's a big break. So I just don't think that's, you know, a good sale. But hey, you know, somebody might show some interest. If you're interested, you know, leave me a comment down in the comment section. And while you're at it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe so you'll get, you know, some more of my videos. I'm really behind on my video schedule. I was hoping to put out more than one video every couple of weeks. But um, like I said before, I do have a full-time job and we've just been super busy. So um, that anyway, that's some of the things that I got at Fragments. And uh, I've got, I've been thrifting. I haven't stopped thrifting for any reason. So I've got some more collections that I gathered at a couple of different places. I went to an estate sale. I went to a Goodwill. I've also been to um, a couple of um, just our local thrift stores. There is a church here, um, the Oakland Baptist Church, and uh, they have a thrift store. And, and I found some good things in there that were cute. Um, but my next video, I think I'm going to show you the stuff that I already have li listed on my Etsy. And um, I think that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my voice is going. But I, I would like to do that just to show you what I've got already up there. And uh, I'll, I'll see you next time on my next video. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell that way you'll know when i put out all my videos and i sure appreciate you watching me i i am a beginner so i'm just learning and uh stick around i may even try to do some filming this weekend at the flea market so stick around come back and i hope you like the video again i'm becky traveling emporium bye